We're now going to start creating the formulae and functions and this tutorial is just going to cover the registration fee, dual controls and CCTV. The question asks us to use formulae and functions to show a breakdown of all charges and the total cost for a car. So we've got to go back a little bit in our instructions to see what we were told okay, earlier on. Well, we're just going to focus on these registration fee, dual control and CCTV. Now we're told that the registration fee will be £55. Well it's all very well and good typing in 55 but if the registration fee changes on the charges worksheet we won't know about it. So we need to use the registration fee on the charges worksheet. So if we just enter equals Go to charges and then click on where the registration fee is, press enter, we can now see that that's come up as £55 which is cell B1 on the charges worksheet. So we'll do the same for dual controls, equals, go to the charges worksheet, select dual controls, press enter. Now the difference with CCTV is that this only applies if CCTV has been selected. So if CCTV is true, which it is at the moment, then we need to apply the fee of £350. But if CCTV hasn't been selected, then we don't want the fee. So we're going to use an if function. Uh, up here on the um, formula bar, you've got this button called FX for insert function. If I click on that, you can see here that if was one of my recently used functions. It probably won't be one of your recently used ones. So if it's not, just change here to all and then scroll down until you get to if. And we're going to use this if function. Now if we double, I've just double clicked on that. And what we've got here is it's asking us to fill in certain things. So our logical test is where we're going to say, right, is the CCTV true? Well, the value for CCTV is installed here, is set here in C6. So if I click on C6, what this is doing now is saying if C6, so in other words, if C6 is true, right, I could put equals true. Right? But it doesn't have to be put in. You can just say if C6. Now what do we want our value to be if it's true? If it's true, we want the value from the charges worksheet for CCTV. So I'm going to make sure I've clicked on this box here for the value if it's true. Go to charges worksheet. Find the value there and click on that. So it's charges B3. So the last part to set up is this bit here where it says value if false. So if CCTV hasn't been selected, how much are we going to charge? It's going to be zero. When we click on OK, we can see that because CCTV is true, £350 is showing. If we untick it, okay, now nothing is showing. All right, so tick 350, untick nothing. And by following through that procedure of creating the function, it has created for us an if function here. And if we just read out what it says, it says, if C6 is true, then use a value from charges B3. Otherwise, use zero, nothing. 